डियर स्टूडेंट्स माय नेम इज परकाळे सूर्यकांत आय एम वर्किंग एज अ फॅकल्टी डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ इंग्लिश सी के ठाकूर एस एस कॉलेज न्यू पनवेल ॲटोनॉमस इन दिस पर्टिक्युलर लेक्चर वी आर गोईंग टू डिस्कस अन एक्सलंट कॉन्ट्रीब्युशन ऑफ बी रंगराव ॲज फार ॲज दलित शॉ स्टोरीज आर कन्सर्न बी रंगराव ही हॅज गिवन अन एक्सलंट कॉन्ट्रीब्युशन टू द फील्ड ऑफ इंग्लिश लिटरेचर अँड if you see the his contribution then he has projected the depressed class community people's life and uh, this particular picture will tell you that how dalits they have been uh, offered the life by uh, this indian society because indian society have been uh, divided uh, between uh, uh, different varnas like uh, uh, and these varnas had made problems to the dalits so these two pictures tells you know uh, how the dalits have been oppressed and suppressed uh, in different systems in india but after independence we could see that this stunning contribution of shahu phule and ambedkar had somber sensitized many dalits and due to that we could see that dalit literature has been originated with uh, excellent contribution of uh, uh, this first generation of dalit writers and uh, in that we could see that major contribution was given by poets novelists and autobiography writers and short story writers too but if you we'll see the origin of dalit writing then uh, we could see that this it has uh, the origin of black panther movement uh, that has been uh, originated in uh, african american literature and dalit writers they had taken inspiration from black panther movement and established this dalit panther movement uh in maharashtra in 1972 in that raja dale then namdev dasal and then others they have uh, you know that established this particular movement and this movement has uh inspired millions of youths in maharashtra and after that we could see that dalit literature was originated in marathi language and afterwards we can see that it has flourished in other regional languages like hindi then kannada then uh, this uh, telugu then uh, this gujarati language and then we have this uh, excellent uh, uh, contribution of all the regional writers in case of uh, this indian uh, literature students so what are the features of uh, protest writing as far as uh, indian literature is concerned so here we could see that basically indian literature no doubt has been divided into different uh, sub types like as far as uh, regions are concerned as per the regions we could see that uh this literature has been divided but here in case of protest writing we could see that in uh, as per the states we could see that literature has been divided like in maharashtra we have marathi literature in kannada we have kannada literature then in in case of gujarat we have gujarati literature so each and every state has represented somewhere this protest writing so basically all the protest writers they have projected this ambedkarian philosophy then after that we could see that they had exposed injustice untouchability and objectification of women poverty is one more very important uh, this aspect has been projected by dalit writers as per their writing is concerned the main concern of dalit writing is liberation of depressed class community people and because of that only we could see that uh, this dalit literature has been globally accepted as one of the important types of literature so far as short stories are concerned uh, we could see that this babura bagul has been considered as the father of dalit writing who has written this beautiful collection of books a beautiful collection of a short story that is when i hide the caste when i conceal my caste basically this book he has penned down in marathi language and afterwards we could see that it has been translated into english by jerry pinto this particular short story collection has uh some have paved uh, a new direction to dalit writing and after that even we could see that excellent contribution of arun kamle then shantabai kamle then namdev dasal daya pawar annabau sate these writer they represent first generation of dalit writing and afterwards lakshman mane lakshman gaikwad sharan kumar limbale then narendra jadhav and urmila pawar and b uh, rangarao they represent this uh, this contemporary generation of dalit writing then so far as b rangarao is concerned he has contributed as a bilingual writer he has written in marathi language as well as in english also so there are very few writers who has contributed in english because this man was an academician he was head department of english at university of mumbai and uh, he has published this uh, the collection of a short stories that is 10 uh, dalit 
uh, short stories uh, and uh, in the in the in the syllabus of TYB English the four short stories have been prescribed as far as uh, TYBA learners are concerned so this particular collection of short stories opens a new subjects related to Dalit's lives uh, because you know very well that these Dalits they have been suppressed and oppressed on every walk of their life and with the help of this particular short story he is opening many issues related to Dalits that is subjugation of Dalits and this oppressive and this humiliated condition of Dalits and uh, in addition to that we could see that the protest element is quite visible in case of his uh, writing the very first short story that is death of a rich man it deals with Satya's character who represents this uh, this uh, depressed class community instead of going to the schools we could see that he is mostly you know that uh, 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 like the cold water of the river and uh, in case of again his characters we could see that instead of uh, you know that uh, attending regular uh, classes he had a habit of swimming into the cool quarter of the river so this whole short story projects this poverty of satya's character and uh, uh, when he attends this funeral ceremony of say jabarmal there we could see that he had been most of the time prohibited to uh, the collect the coins that shows that how this imbalance of imbalance has been uh, you know that uh, practice in case of Indian community that has been projected in case of this present short story this loneliness of an ex-soldier this one more very important short story that has been prescribed in the syllabus the character of Vasu has been projected who had served 15 years of uh, 15 years in Indian Army and when he when he once he comes into the village native village we could see that he is most of the time busy in uh, you know that uh, telling this uh, the message of Ambedkar and philosophy to his colleagues in the society itself because he represents this Mahar community and he somewhere sensitizes uh, this message that has been given by Dr. B. R. Ambedkar in case of his entire life so but uh, as you know very well that in every village setup we could see that Dalits they have been uh, most of the time uh, treated uh, as a secondary so here we could see that this uh, character of Vasu has been disturbed by the villagers and uh, we could see that this rape especially of Sumi uh, you know somewhere devastates the entire family as far as the present short story is concerned thank you very much